We are live on BPM. We are remembering Tim Bergling, a.k.a. Avicii. He died at the age of 28. It's Ben Harvey here with Rita and Mallory Lynn, and we just talked to Tiesto uh, a few moments ago and learned a lot. I mean, we learned that they had dinner just two months ago, and we're talking about mm -hmm. all the music that Avicii was going to put out this year and yep. that he might even go on tour again. Yeah. Oh, I was reading earlier, too. Um, he put out the first EP. I think it was six or seven songs recently. There was supposed to be two more to come. It was supposed to be a three-set EP. So there's Aww. two unreleased EPs, wow. I believe. Um, okay. I was seeing that online. Um, we have someone very special on the phone right now. We just want to thank everyone for calling in. Uh, we have Steve Aoki. Um, hey, Steve. Hey. Thank hey, you up, so guys? much for calling in. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, it's... it's uh, yeah, it's so hard. Um, where uh, where were you when you found out the news? Uh, I'm in New York. Okay. I'm actually out here in New York right now. And um, when uh, when was the last time you actually got to see Avicii or? Uh... The last time I saw Tim was um, last year. Last year, as um, I'm trying to remember the um, him and. Um, like Mike came out to my set. I was playing uh, an unannounced DJ set in a, a small club in uh, in LA, mm -hmm. and uh, and he and he came out with uh, with Mike. Um, yeah, that was the last time I saw him was in the club. But, and how was he? Yeah, how he, how was he doing? I mean, he's doing great. You know, it's like, you know, I, I, when I saw him, he was doing great. You know, because he's out and he's you know he's um, just like the 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 Tim that that I always know, you know, he's just a really he's always been just like smiling, just a great guy, just you know, fun and. Were were you ever were you ever able to attend any of his sets? Are there any special sets of his that you saw that you can recall? Yeah, um, I remember I opened for him for his Avic or his uh, uh, Ibiza Ushuaia residency, and um, yeah, it was. Uh, it, I mean, it's something else when you when you were able to to watch, you know, watch him do his thing up close. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that was incredible to be a part of that, and um, and then dating back to like 2011, we did the Identity Fest together across the U.S. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that was incredible to be a part of that with him. Yeah, we and heard I, from... Just, just in general, you know, like, like, yeah, I was just listening, I, I was on hold, you know, listening to the song you're playing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting because, like, when I, when I really go back to, like, where, like, who, what Avicii did to electronic music, I literally can hear him in all these songs, even if they're not his songs. Yep. Wow. Like, he, he was... He was, uh, he's, he's one of the, he's like almost not single-handedly, but he's one of the most important figures for EDM, that term to even exist. That term is a fairly, it's like, you know, m maybe 10 years old. And, and Avicii broke that term into existence. You know, there's a few artists that can do that. And, and he is one of them, 100%. He's one of them. You know, I always think about that when I go back into time. And I and I talk about like what is EDM? Where did it come from? And who are the pioneers that made it happen? Avicii, no doubt, one of the, the few people that that uh, few artists that really turned it into you know into what it is. And and like like I said, I'm listening to the what you guys were playing. It's like I hear Avicii in that because I hear Avicii in so much music. When you break it down, it's like Avicii's in all this music. Because he inspired and influenced all these amazing producers and friends and myself. And, and it's just, it's crazy to just think that he's gone, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely um, a legend. And actually, right before uh, you got on the phone, we were actually on the phone with Tiesto. And I think one of the most compelling things that he said, something that I, I never even considered, is when you see a DJ up on stage, you, you don't think about this, but he said that Avicii actually had stage fright. He was terrified of being on stage. And yeah. I was wondering, did, did he ever talk about talk about that with you? Did you ever experience that um, side of him? Yes, yes, definitely. I, um, You know, when he's on stage, it's like, 
he like something else takes over and you don't you can't tell. But I remember, you know, talking with them before shows, and you know, you know, we we like we talked about that. Like I mean, we all go through like that kind of stage fright. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he he really thought you know, he talked about it every time I was before you go on. Like it's wow. a, yeah, it's a uh, it's interesting that uh, behind the scenes, like what you. Um, which you don't know, but about these incredible artists like him, you know? Yeah, we're talking with Steve Aoki, and Steve, you you just tweeted an hour ago, uh, my brother, I miss you, and you posted four photos of you guys hanging out, having fun behind the DJ booth, you guys jumping together. Uh, what do you miss the most, or what will you miss the most about Avicii? It's, you know, it's like some people have that energy and that smile and those little human moments that, that, that like make your life, you know, like that, they change you in that moment. And Avicii had that, like Tim had that. So like whenever he was around and whenever you show up, it's like my, my whole, my whole day would change. You know what I mean? Like there's certain people that have that spirit, that energy. And, you know, we didn't have like lengthy conversations about life and philosophy, but, like when he was around, it would light me up so much. You know, I, I was always moved by him. He's just one of those, the nicest guys, just, a, just incredibly generous, incredibly nice, humble dude, just it, absolutely humble. And I mean, it's especially when you see someone that's just is crushing it, like song after song, just, you know, you know, pushing our culture forward in, in exponential ways. And he's like always humble, always you know, always like, you know, just a really good dude, really good person. And uh, you just light up the room, like whenever you walked in, you know, just um, just an incredible guy. Steve, we just posted this amazing photo of uh, you, Avicii, and Armin Van Buren um, from a few years ago. It was during Miami Music Week. And um, it's a beautiful photo, actually. It's you touching Avicii's hand, and you guys are looking at each other smiling. Um, and it just brought chills to all of us. So uh, thank you so much for calling in. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. All right. Thank you so much, Steve. Take care.